Hi, I'm Siobhan Sargent. I'm Charity Director at the Chronicle Sunshine Fund here this evening at Question of Sport, which is absolutely one of our favourite events of the year. Question of Sport now has been going for many years and it just goes from strength to strength. This year has been specifically designed by Big Purple. It's going to be the first time that any of our guests have seen our quiz and we're really, really grateful to them for putting it together for us. We're back in the grand. We absolutely love the grand. We want to thank them so much for being such wonderful hosts. Um, we know that our guests have a wonderful evening whenever we're here. And of course, we want to say a huge thank you to Lowe's Financial Management, who've sponsored the quiz again for the fourth year. Really excited to be working with Lowe's. We know they love the quiz as much as we do. And we know they get super competitive as well. So we're hoping that they do well tonight. Hi, I'm Josh from Lowe's Financial Management. This is the fourth year that we sponsored the Question of Sport events. Uh, we're very happy to associate ourselves with uh, such a good cause. Um, everyone from Lowe's is very happy to participate in the, in the event. Um, obviously bearing in mind what a great cause it is, raising awareness and money for children uh, living with disabilities, terminal illnesses. It's a great pleasure to be here, showing such fantastic support for this brilliant event. Uh, as I say, long-standing sponsor for the last four years, we are extremely proud to continue our commitment supporting the Chronicle Sunshine Fund. It really is a fantastic charity, an outstanding charity, and we sincerely wish to extend our heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you uh, that's joined us tonight. Your participation not only fosters the camaraderie of this event, but also underscores the real reason that we're actually have come here together tonight, uniting in support of the Sunshine Fund and making a tangible impact on the lives of children with disabilities in our community. We want to say a huge thank you to our volunteers. Our volunteers are the lifeblood of our organisation and we couldn't put events like this on without their support. There's lots of opportunities for tonight's guests to be able to support us. We've got our charity auction, which we're really excited about. We've got some fantastic prizes in there. We've had wonderful donations from our patrons and deck. We've got a fantastic prize um, to go and see Elf at the Royal Albert Hall with train travel from Lumu and we've got the most exciting ball boy and ball girl experience which has been donated from our friends at Newcastle United Foundation. We've also got our put and miss game. There's a little bit of a twist to the game this year which we're excited to bring to our guests and we've got our all important balloons which are a fantastic fundraiser for the charity and we've got some fabulous prizes that can be won in our drinks reception this evening. Hello there, Pete Graves here, host of the Evening Chronicle Sunshine Fund, question of sport night. It's always my favourite night of the year, absolutely brilliant, fantastic room full of fantastic people, really tough quiz as well, always very competitive, a lot of laughs as well. We've got brilliant charity auction as well going on tonight. We raise loads of money for the best charity in the world, but also have a lot of fun too. So if you've never been before, please do come next year, because I tell you what, it will be the greatest night of your year. It's a really special time for the Chronicle Sunshine Fund as we approach our 95th birthday, one of the longest standing charities in the whole of the North East and that's something that we're really really proud of. But we've had a difficult few years. The pandemic has been catastrophic in terms of our income generation, our events have suffered but most importantly our families have suffered as well and that's why we need your support more than ever before. Nights like Question of Sport are really, really integral to how we raise the funds that we need to to support families with children with disabilities. All of the fundraising this evening will go a long way to helping us clear equipment that children are patiently waiting for. What we're really looking forward to this evening is welcoming lots of our families into the room. We've got a dad's team. We're hoping to bring that trophy back to Sunshine HQ, so no pressure on our dads but we would really love to have it in the office. Steve Sam's mum? Yes. Wonderful. I was looking at this here. Now, can, can you just sum up for me how much of a help the Sunshine Fund has been for Sam and your family? Sam's been an amazing help. Um, I have a daughter who's able bodies and a dog, and we love going down to the beach. And Sam can't come down to the beach because he can't go out the sand. So we're going to find for an all terrain and we all check to Sam. About two weeks ago, after the storms, we got Sam onto the beach and he absolutely loved it and he said, This is great, it's so much fun. And he was freezing cold and I kept saying to him, Sam, do you want to go home? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. I want to see, I want to see. 
fantastic. And you wouldn't have been able to make that trip to the beach, something which is so simple to so many people in this room, but without the help of the Sunshine Fund. I just want to say thank you for letting us come and share this amazing night with the Sunshine Fund. Um, they've helped us hugely with our son Ollie um, and the equipment they've funded, but also just the family feeling it has with meeting the people that we, we have through the Sunshine Fund as well and just coming to support a, a charity like this is just incredible. Can't often put into words how important it is for what you do and how you help people like us and our son Arnie, so thank you. We've also got our family from our video which we're showcasing here tonight. How was it watching it back for the first time? Yeah, it's quite emotional. Seeing kids up there, but everything we've said about the traditional needs and the workers and the absolutely amazing we're so, so proud of them and we're so grateful for the Sunshine Fund. Without everybody's help, we, we wouldn't be able to come sit down through the day. Uh, with everything that we've got from the Sunshine Fund, we can actually be husband and wife. Yeah, it's very challenging with two kids with special needs, but um, this has made such a difference to our lives. And I just want to thank everyone so much, even putting £10 on a raffle. It makes so much difference to families like us that struggle every day with everyday living. Dad, I mean, Andy, seeing them, you're bonding with your son now and then you're trampoline, something that a lot of dads will take for granted. Something so simple, but it's allowing you and your son to bond in that way. Yeah, I think you don't realise how hard it can be before a diagnosis. To have somebody who, your son who doesn't really connect the way we expect that we could do. Have um, this something going to provide something that allows a connection with each other. It's amazing that every single person is in there.